Hey everyone, my name is Duan Robinson and today I'm going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. No, I'm not going to be talking about the New Year's resolutions for 2017 just yet. I want to talk about the resolutions that I made and perhaps you made as well at the beginning of 2016. We all know that everyone makes a list of promises, whether they want to go to the gym more often, see their family more often, travel more often, or perhaps it's something a little bit more simple and basic as uh, cleaning up the yard or painting a room. The thing is that's a little troubling is that some people forget about their New Year's resolutions and they forget to keep sharing them. They forget to to even announce whether or not they accomplish their goals. So that's why I'm making this video is that I want to share with you guys whether or not I accomplished all of my goals for this year and then I also want you guys to perhaps share uh, your goals with me too. So the very first resolution that I made at the beginning of 2016 was that I wanted to get back into international development. Those that know me know that I was a Peace Corps volunteer and um, I worked as an engineer and then as a sub teacher and then helped out with my family business for a while. And all that time I wanted to get back into more humanitarian work where I was having an impact in um, a chosen field. What was problematic for me was that in California there are very few international development agencies or organizations. All of them are based in Washington DC, which meant that I had to add to my own resolutions. Uh, and what I added was to move to Washington DC. I told myself that I was going to move probably around the end of March, early April, and I was basically going to wing it. I had a friend there who was going to let me stay with him for free for a little bit and um, while I was there I was going to be applying to jobs in international development. However, I realized that I also needed to be working at the same time, either as an intern or in some paid position just to help pay, out, pay with bills but also to have something on my resume. I needed more things on my resume where people could uh, act as a reference for me that were local to Washington DC. So when I made the decision to say that I was going to move to Washington DC, I started looking into other jobs that um, were available outside of international development because those were a little bit too difficult for me to get um, from California. They were never going to offer them to me until I was actually already in DC. I saw that Congressman Garamendi was looking for an intern and I applied. For those that don't know, Congressman Garamendi is a very well-respected congressman. Uh, he's been working for Californians <clears throat> and to advance California's interests um, for decades. Uh, his office is fantastic. It's a really great learning experience. And I was lucky enough to have been invited to intern for him. The internship wasn't just great for being educational. It was also great for the fact that I could uh, go to lectures, seminars, and networking events on the Hill with international development experts. And from these networking events, I was able to meet people who worked at the Child Fund, Population Services International, um, USAID, and quite a few other organizations. And through these contacts, I landed a short-term internship with uh, Population Services International. It was a short-term paid internship. As soon as I walked into that office that day, I realized like, wow, I achieved one of my goals, which was to be back in international development in some capacity, right? However, the internship was already just a, a few days long. It was just to help out with some data analysis work. So I still needed to jump from there into perhaps a longer internship or a longer uh, term position. And so I was constantly just doing applications. I was working at PSI, then going to work in a bar or restaurant, which were like my side jobs and still are, and then applying and then like seeing what else I could do. I found Banding Global uh, through LinkedIn, actually. They had put up a, a job post and I, for a program coordinator, I looked and I saw that all the program coordinators had master's degrees. And uh, that made me that made me a little frustrated because I don't have a master's degree in international development or sustainability, um, though I felt like I could still do that work. So I sent Banyan Global a message on LinkedIn saying, hey, 
Um, I'm interested in this program coordinator position. I think you guys have already probably filled it, but is there a possible way that I could just intern with you? And lucky for me, they said, yeah. And so that began a three month internship with the gender team at Bannon Global. It was a pretty intensive internship, really great, really educational. I was working on data analysis work. Uh, I eventually got my name attached to an acknowledgement section for USAD, which is something that very few interns probably get to do who are in my position. Um, but again, it was, it was all steps in the right direction. Even though I knew it wasn't a, it wasn't a paid internship, it wasn't going to last forever. It was still putting the right things on my resume, giving me the experience that I wanted and that I needed. And it led to me accepting a paid internship this very week uh, with Population Services International, again with them, um, for a longer term internship to work with projects and the Democratic Republic of the Congo also known as a DRC. So my goals for 2016 were to do international development work, move to Washington DC, and to have a job. I accepted a, a few jobs in international development and starting January 9th in 2017 I will be back in international development so I accomplished that main goal. It's still something that's always going to be there, right? You have to keep finding new jobs, keep finding new internships, just basically keep moving up. Um, most international development agencies are based in Washington DC so I don't think I'll be leaving here too soon and in terms of you know finding work that was pretty much the same thing as number one except I also have to find work that pays me a little bit more just to pay the bills so I do work in a few bars and I and uh, it's it's a struggle um, I'm expected to put in maybe around 70 hours a week uh, once I start my new internship and that will will be exhausting, but um, it's what I have to do right now. It's not ideal, and it's not something that I envisioned for myself that I would be doing in 2016 or 2017, but again, it's just what I have to do right now. Uh, what comforts me is that the people that I'm working with have gone down the same route as well. Uh, my old boss at Bannon Global, she used to be a waitress, my new boss at PSI, she bartends uh, a couple times a month and pretty much every bartender that I work with at um, my bars, they have master's degrees and they have full-time jobs. They just bartend because they enjoy the hustle and they enjoy the extra income. Um, while I hoped not to be doing that for you know the rest of my life, it's still inspiring that these are younger bartenders and that they are able to um, have full-time jobs, bartend, and still have vacation time and still enjoy themselves too. So it's something that I'm probably definitely going to keep considering and just keep moving up on uh, for myself, just in, keep improving myself with bartending and bar work and international development all at the same time. So my other goals that I had set for myself for 2016 was to just keep improving my French. I use an app called Hello Talk. It's so I can have uh, pen pals who are based in France, Morocco, Algeria, uh, Tunisia, um, any French-speaking country, and we exchange French uh, letters and uh, we correct each other. So that's just been how I've been improving my French. And then finally, uh, my last resolution is just to keep improving my body. Um, I think I'm definitely on the right track for that too. I've been slowly gaining good weight. I went from a low of 125 pounds in 2012 when I was a Peace Corps volunteer and now I'm up to about 160. I eventually want to get to 170 but maybe that's a resolution for 2017. So again guys, um, I had a whole list of resolutions just like every other normal person at the beginning of 2016. Uh, those promises, those goals were what drove me to Washington DC and I think I've accomplished most of my goals um, at least in a basic sense obviously I still need to keep climbing up the ladder still need to keep improving but I think I'm on the right track all right so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it and that you share some of your own feelings too like share some of your resolutions or your promises with me either in the comments or a direct message um, tweet me even any way you can. And I hope that you guys all have a happy new year and good luck in 2017.
Bye.